And hi again, everybody. Uh, Silent Rebel basketball on the air this afternoon as it's the uh, Silent Rebels in the uh, Class 3A area tournament as they take on the uh, Hugo Buffaloes, a rematch of a game earlier uh, this season, uh, actually just a, a couple weeks ago, February the uh, 10th, as the Rebels won that one 64-56. This an elimination game. The winner moves on to play tomorrow night for a trip to the state tournament. Glad you're along with us today on SilentRebels.tv. I'm Kevin Farr, joined by my main man, Asher, as the uh, Rebels. Do what? No. As the uh, Rebels uh, preparing, uh, taking their warm-ups here before... Uh, this afternoon's uh, contest. Yesterday, the uh, Rebels uh, victorious. Uh, they jumped out to an 18-0 lead on Henrietta, and they were able to hold on uh, down the uh, stretch and win 61-51 uh, over Henrietta to move on to this uh, contest. As uh, joined by Asher uh, today, and Asher, uh, how you feel uh, about this contest today? I feel good. It's probably going to be a very good game. Well, it was a uh, it was a tight one uh, when the uh, Rebels played uh, the uh, Buffaloes back on February 10th, and Sada was able to pull away there at the end to that eight point win. But uh, the uh, Rebels uh, yesterday uh, it was their uh, defense down the uh, stretch, and big plays uh, coming off the bench by uh, Daxter Thomas that helped uh, propel the uh, Rebels to that uh, victory yesterday, and they're going to need the same type of effort here today. As we get set for the uh, starting lineups here. Good afternoon, basketball fans, and welcome to the Class 3A Area 2. Now we're about set for the uh, starting lineups before uh, this afternoon's uh, contest. Hugo was a, a winner last night, one point winner over Oak Mulgee, and they needed some. Luck down the stretch. Omogi missed uh, four free throws in the final uh, 30 seconds, including a couple with three seconds to go that would have tied or won it for the uh, Buffaloes. And we're set for the uh, starting lineups here. As uh, Hugo wearing the uh, road black uniforms, LaMarcus Davis, a 6'2 junior in the uh, starting lineup. He is joined by Jamarian Brown, a 6'1 senior. Also in the uh, starting uh, five, Travion King, a 5'6 junior. Dequan, Dequan uh, Lennox, a 6'3 junior, and the final starter for Hugo this afternoon is Marion Maytubby, a 5'7 senior. Now the Rebels being introduced, it's Carter Parker, the 6'0'' senior. Also Connor Cornell, a 6'0'' senior. Charlie Gardner, the 6'1'' junior. Kyler Proctor, a 6'0'' senior, and Hayden Roberts, the 6'1'' freshman to round out the uh, starting five. Gardner led the scoring yesterday. Three players in double figures for Silo in that uh, contest as uh, Gardner scored uh, 15. Carter Parker added 14, and Daxter Thomas, the big game off the uh, bench, Daxter's star of the game. He had 10 points all in the second half down the stretch to help propel the uh, Rebels. Connor Cordell scored nine. Connor Proctor just four in that contest as he was saddled with foul problems. Much of the uh, game set up a whole big chunk of the uh, second half. Now we're just about set for the opening tip. Looks like uh, Gardner is going to jump it up against the Quan Lennox for Hugo. And we're ready to go in this area tournament game here from the Kerr Center in Ada, Oklahoma. And the opening tap is controlled by the uh, Rebels, and they will start first on offense. They work it into the uh, front court. So it was tapped into the uh, back court. Carter Parker dribbles out front, and well, let's see. Oh, I think we may have the wrong basketball. That's what Parker's telling the official. Yeah, I think uh, that was the girls' ball, and uh, Carter noticed it right off the bat that that was not the right size basketball. Now they've got the boys ball. 
Parker out front. Gives it off left side there to uh, Gardner. Starts the drive. Cut off there. Back to Parker. Swing it back to the uh, top of the key to uh, Cordell. Looks like uh, Hugo starting out in a man-to-man, uh, -man, sinking man defense here. As the dr Gardner drives into the paint, lost the handle on it. It was poked away, and Hugo comes up with a loose ball. Turnover there on the uh, Rebels, and the Buffaloes have it. Going left to right here to start this contest. Toss inside and getting free and put it up and in. McQueen Lennox, he's got a uh, size advantage, and Lennox with the first bucket puts Hugo in front 2 0. Rebels come down. I have to try to find a way to offset the height advantage of Lennox inside. Back out front. Proctor thought about the three, pass it up. Now starts to drive, and he's going to be called for a travel. Back to back Rebel turnovers to start the game. Got there at the elbow, and. Out of no man's land as he picked up the uh, dribble. Now Hugo works the uh, basketball on offense. Pass off on the uh, left side. King back around front. Now they're going to lob once again inside Lennox and Roberts. He faked Roberts out of the way. Missed the shot from point blank, however. Carter Parker gets the rebound. That was another point-blank opportunity for Lennox. Rebels are going to have to find an answer inside defensively. Now down with it. Pardon the uh, glare coming from the uh, windows. It's the three from uh, Proctor's no good. The glare from those outside windows on the uh, center of the uh, court here at the Kerr Center during these afternoon contests. Won't have that tonight. For the Lady Rebel game. Here's a uh, shot up from the baseline. It's no good. And Gardner gets the rebound as Brown missed from 10 feet. Cordell rushes into the front court. Pass off to Roberts. Now Cordell has it stripped away. Going up for the uh, shot. Rebels just one shot thus far. Three turnovers in the other possessions. A lot of contact inside. No call there as Gardner comes away with the loose ball. Charlie. Down with it to Proctor. Feed inside. Roberts underneath scores to tie the game. Rebels with the uh, precision passing once again there. And are able to knot it up. So despite those early turnovers, you go uh, really unable to take advantage on the other end. We're tied at two. Ball down on the uh, baseline, a whistle, and there's going to be a foul called, and I think it's going on Roberts. Reaching in there. Hayden picks up the uh, first foul of the uh, contest. Hugo basketball on the baseline. They get it inbounded there to uh, Davis. Now toss back out front to King. King starts the drive. Now down to the baseline, bounces one off the foot of uh, Proctor, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Hugo basketball. Low-scoring affair thus far. 2-2. Two -two. We've played over three minutes. And inside the pass goes. And Proctor or uh, Roberts trying to take a charge. At the contact, no call. The shot was missed, however. And it goes out of bounds to Silo on the baseline. It's going to allow Hugo to pick up with the uh, full-court pressure. Cornell bounces to Roberts. He dribbles up, stops before half court. Back to court now. Count is on. They get it across just in time. Now Gardner to court now. Now Proctor out front. Dribbles to the uh, free throw line. Now inside, finds a lane to the basket and misses on the driving shot to take the lead that time. Brown gets the rebound for the Buffaloes. Here comes Hugo right back. Lennox playing out on the uh, perimeter now. Here's a pass inside, and that's an errant toss intended for King on the baseline. It goes out of bounds. It'll be a Hugo turnover. Both teams trying to settle in here, Asher. Yeah. They're both not shooting very good. Well, I haven't got that many shot opportunities, but uh, the ones they have uh, have not been able to get most to fall. There's one field goal for each team as Proctor is fouled on the baseline drive. We've played over half this first quarter. 
Lennox picks up that foul. And Lennox is going to check out. Aiden Parrish, 6'2", senior, checks in. Pass inside. Gardner underneath, and that one bounces off no good. Rebound cleared by Hugo. Charlie was in traffic, but was able to get the shot up, but couldn't get it to fall. Now the Buffaloes back with it. Pass goes down to the baseline. Brown had it knocked out of his hands for a second, got it back, and I think Cordell's going to be called for a foul here. Yep, that's going to be Connors first. They're going to say it was on the shot, and Brown will shoot two free throws. At the line, and that one's no good. Quincy Shelton checks in for Hugo. First substitution for the Rebels is Daxter Thomas, the hero from yesterday. 5'9", freshman, checks in the uh, contest. 3.27 to go here in the opening quarter. And that free throw is no good as well. Proctor with the rebound as the Gardner nearly bumped him out of bounds. Buffaloes with two misses at the line. Silo has it in the uh, front court. Thomas, they swing it around to Proctor on the right side. Now out front. Gardner penetrates, and with contact, goes up and scores. No foul call, but Charlie got it in that time to put Silo in front, 4-2. Back down with it. There's Daxter once again out there in the passing lanes and nearly picked off another one, but it went off his hands and out of bounds. He's just all over the place on uh, defense, Asher. Yeah, he's yesterday he was he played pretty good yesterday. That was a season high. Well inbounds pass and got it to Parrish who misses inside. Gardner comes away with a loose ball. Quickly into the front court. Feeds Cornell right side, drives in, kick out. Daxter's wide open for three on the way, and it's no good. And it bounces high onto the top of the backboard. And they left him wide open out there. Had that one perfectly lined up, but it was just too long. Still just a 4-2 game, just six points total scored. In this defensive slugfest, two and a half minutes to go here in the uh, first quarter. Hugo working the basketball. Silo and... Playing that uh, matchup zone. Shot is inside. No good. Gardner comes away with the uh, loose ball. And that shot was short. Hit the uh, net, and that was it. The bottom of the net. Now Gardner feeds left side. They're not letting Parker open. He's going to drive and pull up with the shot. Can't get it to fall just inside the free throw line. Hugo with the rebound. Under two minutes to go here in the uh, first quarter. Buffaloes have it here. Now in the near court. Swing it left side. Now back out front. Parrish starts the drive. Now gives it off there to Lorenzo King. Now there's a lob inside, and Gardner was inside to defend. Parrish, or uh, yeah, it was Aiden Parrish, couldn't come up with the uh, loose ball, and it goes out of bounds. Actually, that pass came from Shelton outside. Hugo turns it over. Silo has it back with a 4-2 to lead. Points may be hard to come by all day. Here's uh, Parker. Oh, a fallaway shot just outside the lane. That one was halfway down and came out. Hugo comes away with the uh, rebound. Both teams, uh, as you said, not shooting it very well here to start, Asher. Yeah. We reached the one-minute mark, and there's Daxter inside. On the uh, ground, uh, knocks the ball away. Oh, they're going to call a foul on him. He poked that one away on the drive. It was on the uh, floor trying to come up with a loose ball. It's called for the foul. So Hayden Roberts checks back in along with Kaysen Taylor at this uh, dead ball. And, well, that ball was uh, 
deflected off the uh, backboard standard. It's going to stay with Hugo. Last touch there by Roberts. Inbounds pass goes out front. Oh, wide open for the three, but passed it up. There was uh, Tristan Fleeks. There's a steal by Gardner. Gardner heading to the basket and is going to lay it up with the left hand. Charlie with the steal and bucket. Sano with a 6-2 to two lead. It's just been defense all the way in this one. Gardner with the lay-in. 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. Here's Fleeks, left side. Gives it back out front, and Parker nearly came up with a steal. Oh, the Hugo player just ran over. Roberts and no call, and there's an offensive foul. Maybe a makeup call that time as Parker draws the charge from Jamarian Brown. Second Hugo team foul. Buffaloes are going back to the bench. Been a steady flow of substitutes in. They pick up with the full court pressure. 22 seconds to go here in the first. Sato with a 6-2 lead. Proctor, now to Gardner. And across the uh, midcourt line. Rebels may try to play for the final shot of the period as we're down under 10. Proctor to Gardner left side. He's double teamed there. Feeds inside. Roberts kicking out. Parker open for three. And it rims out. No good. Tap try. No good by Gardner. And Roberts gets the rebound, and they're not going to get another shot. I want to say dang it, Ray. Well, he was, they got him open for three outside and uh, just rimmed out by uh, for Carter. But Sala with a 6-2 to two lead through one quarter here. That would have been a big one to end the uh, first. But just uh, incredible defense. Hugo got the first two points of the game and did not score again in that first period. And kind of like uh, yesterday when the Rebels threw the shutout in the uh, first quarter, then They only allowed two points in the first period here. Silo got some good looks at the uh, basket there, Asher, in that uh, first period. Just yeah. couldn't, couldn't get any of the fall. Had a couple of wide open chances at threes. They just rimmed out. See if they can get uh, get those going here in the uh, second period. Now, this second period is where we saw yesterday that Henrietta made the run to get back in it after Stilo scored the first 18 of the game. Going to be Hugo basketball on the alternating possession. Buffaloes will have it in the uh, front court, and they uh, work it down to the uh, baseline. Five starters back in. There's a driving shot off the glass and in. LaMarcus Davis. His first points. He set out a lot of that first quarter. Silo gets it across. Proctor had it deflected for a second. Gets it back. Now there's Roberts. Out to Proctor. Driving in traffic. Goes up and scores. I don't know how he got that one up in traffic, but he did. Proctor with his first bucket. Eight to four, the Rebel lead is four once again. Here's a three by Hugo, and good. First three of the game comes from Jamarian Brown from the left wing there. Somebody finally got one to fall. Now a steal by the Buffalo. Rebels turn it over. Hugo has it back and a chance to retake the lead. Fourth turnover on Silo. Just over a minute into this second period. Rebels won the first matchup, 64-56 on February 10th. Here's the drive down the left side of the uh, paint and off the glass and in with the left hand. That was a Marion Maytubby, the uh, senior with the bucket. Puts Hugo in front, 9-8. Rebels get it across the uh, half-court line. Cornell. Wild pass saved by Parker there. Now inside, Gardner working. Goes up, scores, and... I don't know if they're going to count it. I think they're going to say it was on the floor. 
as Gardner was fouled, uh, but they're going to not give him the shot attempt. Looked like it was going to be a chance at a uh, three-point play. But the Rebels will inbound on the baseline. Gardner gets it in to Proctor. Back to Gardner. Just inside the free throw line. Shot is no good. Too hard off the back iron. Buffaloes had the rebound. Rebels one and done most of the uh, time. Not many second shot opportunities. There's a drive inside. Shot no good in traffic. Pro Parker had the rebound. And a defender was there. And uh, he's going to be called for a uh, travel. Trying to get away from that Hugo player. Two minutes into this second quarter. Now Parker's going to get a breather, and uh, Daxter Thomas checks in. They inbound to Lennox. Lennox is working against Proctor now. Cut off on the drive. Now they feed. Oh, King with the nice move. Misses the shot. Gardner has the rebound. He wants to push it. Charlie into the front court. Doesn't have numbers. Going to kick it back out, and Par Proctor's going to be called for a travel. Tossed it back out to him, and uh, Kyler thought he saw a lane to the basket. And took a step before the uh, dribble. Rebels' fifth turnover. Nine to eight in this low-scoring slugfest. Hugo on top. Drive, and oh, that one's poked away by uh, Roberts, but a foul is going to be whistled on Hayden. That's his second. 14 foul on the Rebels. Roberts is going to check out with those two fouls, and Parker's quickly back in. Hugo gets it inbounded. Inside. Oh, there's an off. That's got to be an offensive foul. As they just ran right over Daxter. Yep. LaMarcus Davis. First foul on Davis. He's going to check out. As back in for Hugo is Demarion Ramsey. I think that's the first time we've seen him today. Buffalo's pick up at the full court press. Hugo goes way deeper on the bench than Silo does. Rebels break the pressure. Gardner feeds Proctor, cutting to the basket, and there's a block. Yep. As the guy that just checked in, uh, Ramsey, is going to be guilty of that one. And that should be two free throws for Kyler Proctor. Proctor at the line to shoot two. 5.19 to go here in the uh, second quarter. Once again, sorry about the uh, glare. Can't, it's uh, coming off the uh, center of the uh, court from the uh, windows here at the Kerr Center. The sun's shining in. Proctor's free throw was good. Here's the next one, and Kyler makes them both. Two for two at the line. Sala retakes the lead, 10-9. 5.14 to go here in the uh, first half. Hugo trying to force it down inside to Lennox, and he can't corral that pass. It goes out of bounds. Buffaloes turn it right back over. Silo gets it back. Rebels working against the full court pressure. They've handled it pretty well. Just one turnover against the press. Here's a, a lob to uh, Gardner at the uh, midcourt stripe. He's going to drive all the way in. Missed the uh, shot in the paint on the runner. Might have got too far underneath. Here comes Hugo right back. Buffaloes. Trying to penetrate inside. King, and they're playing uh, back and forth catch, and King goes up and scores. He and Maytubby on the right side of the paint, just back and forth. And King finally scores it to put Hugo back up. 11-10, Rebels right back. Parker right wing. They've not given him any breathing room. Out front, it's Proctor on the drive and has it knocked away from behind. And it's going to go to uh, the uh, Rebels on the uh, turnover. That was a travel there. Rebels have it. 
Working in there to uh, Gardner inside, going up with the uh, shot and couldn't get it to fall, but a foul is called, and Charlie should be at the free throw line. Rebels top free throw shooter. No. Yeah, he's he leads the team in that uh, category, and he's there shooting two. A chance to put Silo back in front with 4.09 to go here in the first half. Every point crucial the way this is going, but he misses. Gardner couldn't get that one to fall. Aiden Parrish checks back in for the uh, Buffaloes. And the next one is good. Gardner one out of two. We're tied at 11. Kevin Farr along with my main man, Asher, today from the uh, Kerr Center. Hugo works the uh, basketball now down into the uh, front court. Steady there. Here's a uh, pass back out front. And it's Maytubby directing traffic for the uh, Buffaloes. Off on the uh, left side, now they'll swing it back out front. Buffalo's being very patient offensively here, working against this uh, Rebel uh, defense. They're in a man, and there's a steal by Gardner. Charlie comes up with a loose ball on the steal, brings it into the front court. Parker from the corner, kicks out. Proctor open for three, and that one is no good. Off the front rim, but there's Parker for the offensive rebound and putback. I think that's the first Rebel offensive rebound today, and that puts them in front 13-11. Parker off the miss. Now Hugo with the basketball. They work it right side. Proctor sinking back in. Playing the big guy, uh, Parrish, in the paint. Here's a drive. That shot is no good. Parrish with the rebound. No good. Gardner with the board. Rebels come away with the loose ball. They've got it back with a two-point lead. Now down, Proctor. Right side, works back out front. Now to Parker, they come out to defend him. They've seen plenty of uh, Carter Parker to know not to leave him open out there. Here's Proctor now. Gives back to Parker. Defense out, covering him up. Daxter starts the drive, now gives back out. Cordell's wide open, he's gonna take the shot. His foot was on the line. It's no good on the three. Rebound tapped into the hands of Proctor inside. Misses the shot. There's Cordell in offensive rebound. Back out to Daxter. Daxter going to drive in with the runner, and he misses. Oh, the three chances the Rebels couldn't get any to fall. And Hugo comes away with the basketball. Buffaloes ahead into the front court. Now the ball's on the uh, court, and uh, if it's on the court, you know uh, Connor Cordell's going to be there, and he's going to tie it up. Possession arrow on the alternating uh, possession goes to uh, Silo here. Rebels have it back up two. Now Proctor works it off on the left side there to Parker. Now back out front. Gardner directs traffic. Looking for a screen. Gets it from Daxter. Now he's going to spin between two defenders. Oh, he was open for the shot, left it short. Rebound, batted around, ends up in the hands of Cordell. A lot of contact, no call. Now the baseball pass down for Hugo, and it's going to be turned over. Both teams looking for a breakout to score, but uh, doing a good job getting back defensively. Once again, the Rebels had opportunities inside, but they just couldn't get them to fall that last time down. 105 to go here, first half. Rebels across the uh, midcourt line. Proctor has the basketball. Waits for Cordell. And Sala wants to spread the floor and go to the four corners here. Want to try to get uh, Hugo out of the paint so they can uh, 
try to take advantage of their athleticism and their uh, outstanding passing ability in the open floor. Gardner dribbles out near the half-court logo with 30 seconds left. Buffaloes trying to sink in. Now Gardner gets around him, going to pass back out to Proctor with 20 seconds. That was just milking the clock down here. Leading 13-11, Proctor. Now to Parker, 10 seconds. Parker, they're going to have to attack pretty quick. Gardner, 5 seconds, still way out there. Gardner around a defender. Baseline jumper is no good. Rebound by Hugo, and they fire a shot all the way to the other end, which is off the mark and out of bounds to end the uh, first half of play. Sato up 13 to 11 in this low scoring battle to stay alive in the Class 3A playoffs today from the Kerr Center in Ada. As uh, we talked about, points tough to come by. Sato had six in the first, seven in the second quarter. You go just those two in the first quarter and then nine in the second. Now it's quarter silo nine to seven, but the Rebels still with a two point lead. And Charlie Gardner has five of the uh, 13 first half points, four for Kyler Proctor, and then two apiece for Carter Parker, as well as Hayden Roberts in half number one. For Hugo, uh, Jamarian Brown with three and. Uh, Four different players all have two points. Nobody with more than three for the uh, Buffaloes. And it's just uh, been uh, all defense and just uh, slugfest in half number one, Asher. Yeah, man, this is a t it's a not a lot scoring games, like 13 to 11. Like, it's not a lot scoring game. Yeah, you know, still they're trying to uh, see if they can uh, get things uh, broken open in the uh, second half. But uh, both these teams... Uh, Relying on their uh, defense, and uh, so it's uh, been, uh, as we talked about, points hard to come by all through the uh, first half. 13-11, silo on top at halftime. Here from the Kerr Center in Ada, we're going to take a uh, break, a timeout here at halftime, and be back for the second half action coming up here in about eight minutes here on SiloRebels.tv and the Squirtle Network.
gonna be making his day only on one try. Yeah. We're at the Kerr Center here in Ada this afternoon. Silent Rebel Basketball. It's halftime in this area tournament uh, consolation bracket game. Uh, Silent with the 13 to 11 lead at the half in this uh, tight defensive battle in the uh, first half. Kevin Farr joined by my main man, Asher. What are the Rebels got to do in the second half, Asher? Well, we just need to shoot better, like at threes. 
Yeah. That's all really we need. Yeah, they, uh, they had some open three looks, but just couldn't get them to fall as they went over uh, the uh, first half. In fact, uh, just one three-pointer for either team. That came from Jamarian Brown in the uh, first half. And the winner of this moves on and will play tomorrow for a trip to state tomorrow night. And the loser season is over. Going to be Hugo basketball to begin the second half. Rebels send the uh, original starting five back out there. Parker Cornell along with Gardner, Proctor, and Roberts. And once again, the uh, pass goes inside to LaMarcus Davis. That's kind of how the uh, first half started. On a quick pass inside, Hugo scored the uh, first points of the opening half. And the first points here of the uh, second half as well. We're tied at 13. Here to begin this third quarter. Silo going left to right. Now, here's Parker three on the way. Good! Bangerang! And he's fouled a chance at a four-point play. I knew he was going to be good because I saw him in warm-ups just draining everything he made. Well, that's a big bangerang there for uh, Asher as uh, Parker has a chance at the rare four-point play as the free throw is good. A four-point play for Carter Parker. And Silo takes a four-point lead here. Biggest shot of the game thus far. Buffaloes come down with it. Here's Lennox. Toss out front to May Tubby. Now they work it to Brown left side. Rebels in a man-to-man -man defense. Back there is Davis now and at the top of the key. Gives it off Lennox. As Hugo continues to work the basketball, Rebels working well. Def oh, they're going to call a foul on the well, – it looks like Brown just ran into him. Just ran into uh, Cornell, and they're going to call a foul on Connor. That'll be good. Second on him. So he said it at halftime, got to hit, got to start uh, making some threes, and Carter did on the first possession for Silo. Rebels up four as Hugo works the uh, basketball. Down in the corner. Now they toss back out front to Brown. Brown's got Cordell all over him. Now he just keeps ducking his shoulder. Cordell taking it. Now a drive. That ball's poked away by Gardner. Rebels have numbers. In transition, Gardner drives in. Shot is good inside. Gardner with the driving layup off the steal. Silo leads by six. Made it happen with the defense once again. Two minutes into this third quarter. I think that's the biggest Rebel lead of the day. There's a three out front for Hugo. It's no good. Fighting for the rebound inside. Hugo comes up with it. Lennox, or actually that was... Uh, not Lennox, but uh, there's a driving shot, a hanger in the lane, and King hits it. Davis got the rebound. Now the officials are going to uh, call time as uh, Cornell was tied up there with Brown once again. They've been battling back and forth all day. Officials talking to him about cleaning it up. As Maytubby, or excuse me, it was King that hit the uh, runner in the lane, his second bucket. Rebels have it back. Four-point lead in the basketball here. As Cordell pass around to the right side. There's Proctor faked the shot. Now it gives to Gardner. Now to Roberts. They work it around the perimeter. Parker down to the baseline. The pass goes to Roberts. Back out to Carter. Now they're really extending back out on him. Gardner penetrates inside with contact and couldn't get the shot to fall, but he's going to the free throw line. Charlie with penetration, drew the uh, contact, and now he's going to the line. It was just one for two in the first half. And that one is no good. That's a tough uh, shooter's, tough place for uh, shooter's background, and Gardner back at the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter on the season. Next one is on the way and got it to fall. One out of two for Charlie. Makes the silo lead at five. 
with five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Back down. Davis working right side now to the baseline as he's directing traffic, trying to get people out of the way. Toss back out front. Now to Maytubby. Maytubby penetrates and dished to Lennox, and there's a foul whistled, and see who this one's going against. That's on Carter Parker. That's the first on Carter. Second team foul of this half. Inbounds goes to Maytubby. Now back out front. Here's a three on the way. It's no good. Rebound ends up in the hands of Carter or of Connor Cordell. Off the three-point miss from King. Rebels up with it quickly. Roberts ahead to uh, Gardner in the front court for Silo. Rebels work it. Shot no good. Proctor couldn't get the runner to fall. Now down Hugo quickly as Proctor went to the floor. Here's a uh, shot inside. It's no good. And the rebound. Well, Gardner had inside position. It looked like one of the uh, Buffaloes may have been over his back tapping that out of bounds, but it's going to stay with Hugo. 4.14 to go. Davis, now they'll swing it back around. Brown can't get an inch against Cordell. Inside, oh, they're going to call a block. I thought that was going to be a uh, charge there as Lennox ran over uh, Gardner, but Charlie is whistled for the foul. That'll be the first on Charlie. Already three Rebel team fouls here in the second half. Inbounds pass goes. Oh, near steal by Parker. Hugo keeps possession. They work it inside. Lennox goes up with a shot and gets the roll. Got it to roll in. Lennox has been had points tough to come by inside his second bucket. Rebels back with it. As Cornell has it, gives off to uh, Gardner. Charlie dribbles out front. Now feeds off of the left side. Roberts comes out to retrieve. Now to Cordell. There's Proctor. Pulls up with a shot from 17 and hits it. Pull-up jumper for Connor Proctor. Was feeling it there. And back and forth as they exchange buckets. As Proctor went to the floor, once again, no call. Shot was no good. Cordell with the rebound. Parker out with it, but didn't have numbers. Waits for Proctor. Proctor feet underneath. Cordell, oh, there's a defender on his back, and uh, he's going to foul's going to be called before he can put up the shot. Thought it was going to be a chance at a three-point play there. That was a nice pump fake there, and that guy was right was all over his back, Asher. He was trying to just lay on him. So uh, the foul was whistled on Hugo. Rebels will have it on the baseline. Subs check in for the Buffaloes. Inbounds goes to Proctor. He's going to drive, pull up in the paint, and can't get the shot to fall on the little fall away 10-footer. Hugo out with it. Now down, three on the way from out front is no good. Gardner had the rebound, was knocked to the floor, and they're going to call a travel on him. Oh, my. Well, he didn't just fall down by himself, Asher. Yeah. I don't know why he did that. He, if he, well, I, would, I would just call, keep the ball in his hand. He would just get fouled. Well, they, he was going for the rebound and was bumped from behind and went down to the floor. Here's a shot inside off the inbounds. No good. Gardner tracks down the rebound. Charlie's got it as Daxter Thomas has checked in. Now ahead there to Cornell. Rebels doing well against the full court pressure. Oh, pass out front. Nearly stolen into this. It's picked off there. Taking it all the way in. Gardner with the block, but he had a lot of contact, and he's gonna. that's going to put Jamarian Brown at the free throw line. Well... The first pass was a little dangerous, and then uh, Brown came up with it. And he's going to shoot free throw. Second foul on Charlie. With two and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter, if the free throw is good. Brown was 0 for 2 in the first half, but makes that one. 
Next one is up, and it's good. Cleanly in that time. Cuts the silo lead back to three. Rebels against the full court press. Gardner, Cordell play catch in the backcourt. Now Gardner's going to dribble it up. Bounces it to Daxter, and he's bumped and fouled. They got the foul that time. As Thomas was fouled by Quincy Shelton. That'll be his first. 2.18 to go. Third period. Sato with the possession and a three-point lead. Parker working out front. Gives to uh, Proctor. Now the Rebels trying to spread it out a little bit. Gardner drives to the baseline. Back out. Cornell was open for three. He's going to drive in, though. Lost the basketball for a second. Ends up in the hands of uh, Gardner. Now they swing it back out front. Proctor fakes the three. Bounces inside in traffic to uh, Gardner, and it's picked off there. Stolen by Hugo. Here comes Brown. Pull-up shot in the lane. It's no good. Top Parrish with the rebound and put back, and, oh, they're going to get a foul, too. Oh, a chance to tie it up on the offensive rebound. Aiden Parrish, first points. Foul was on Parker. That's Carter's second, and Hugo with the little run here. Chance to tie it up, and it's no good. Missed the free throw to tie it. Cornell has the rebound. Rebels still lead by a point. Proctor holds it out near the uh, half-court logo. Tries to force a pass to Gardner. That was deflected. Proctor gets it back. Now Proctor dribbling out there this time. Rebels trying to spread the floor, but Hugo right with them. Now Gardner spins inside, and we got a whistle, and he's called for a travel. Spinning move in the paint by Charlie. Silo up still by one as LaMarcus Davis checks back in for Hugo. Buffaloes have the basketball. As we close in on a minute to go, third period. Trying to work it inside. Here's a draw. Oh, Daxter reaches in and forces a turnover. Got poked in the uh, nose. Now the uh, Rebels have it ahead. Cornell. Daxter trying to shake it off. He got hit in the nose and eyes may be watering a bit. 40 seconds to go. Gardner feeds Thomas inside. Now Daxter on the floor and has the basketball. And Coach Wild takes the timeout to save possession. First Rebel turnover or timeout there. Now Daxter, they're taking a look at Daxter's nose. I don't know if he's got blood coming up from it or not. Thirty-two seconds to go in the quarter as Hayden Roberts checks back in. Silo up a point. The Rebels have led most of the way here. Since Hugo scored the first two of the uh, contest, but largest lead has only been six. And it has been all about defense today here from the Kerr Center. See, but uh, Coach Wild draws up. Rebels probably want to play for the final shot of the third quarter. Thomas checked out to uh, tend to that uh, nose injury there while uh, Roberts is back in. Gardner's going to hold near half court. Now to uh, Proctor. That was spreading the floor here. Trying to play for the uh, final one. Gardner, 10 seconds left. Gardner. Drives, kick out, Parker, they're on him. Now back to Charlie. Charlie tries to drop one inside to uh, Roberts. It's picked off. Hugo comes away with the loose ball and fires one to the other end. It's 
out of bounds to end the third quarter. Rebels still with the lead. It was four after one quarter, two at the half, and it's one through three periods. 22-21. It's a dogfight today from the Kerr Center. As we head to the fourth quarter, somebody sees an on the line. Winner moves on and will play tomorrow night at 7.30. They'll face the loser of tonight's area championship game, which will pit Purcell and Prague here in Ada. That'll be immediately following the uh, Lady Rebels contest with Bethel, which you can see here on SidleRebels.tv tonight with the 6 o'clock tip time. So the fourth quarter, Rebels are going to send out the starting five once again. Carter Parker, Connor Cornell, Charlie Gardner, Kyler Roberts, and Hayden Roberts. <coughs> Excuse me. As uh, Let's see. Uh, leading scorer through three quarters is Gardner with eight. And Par Parker has six along with Proctor. Rebels will have it on the alternating arrow to begin the third period. Parker with it on the left side. Rebels screening inside. Oh, Parker has it stripped away and stolen. Down with it for Hugo, and a layup is good. A steal and a lay-in. Casey Benson, first points of the uh, contest. Benson forces a turnover and gives Hugo the lead. Rebels back with it as they trail now. For one of the few times this afternoon, Proctor dribbles to the free throw line, kick out left side. Cordell backs his way in, turns, shoots off the glass, and good. Cordell's first points. As he answers there. So uh, an exchange of buckets. Sato back in front by one. Flakes passed up the open three. Now gives it back to Benson. Swing it right side. There's King. Baseline shot, no good, and a foul. Is it hung on the rim? That was actually Benson. It almost I, went in. I, I, think, so nervous. I think Benson, this is the first Benson has played today. And immediately here in the fourth quarter, he's come in and made two big plays. He's going to the line. 652 remaining. Benson, chance to give Hugo the lead as the first one ties the game. Casey Benson, a 5'8 junior. Here's the next one for the lead, and it's no good. We're tied again. Gardner had the rebound. Here's Charlie ahead in the front court, and there's a foul whistled on Hugo as it's going on Tra Travian King. Second on King. I think that's the fifth Hugo team foul. Silo has six team fouls. So getting close to the bonus on each side. Tied at 24 here. Proctor dribbles. Now to Roberts on the left side. It's closely guarded there. Now feeds Cornell. Oh, a lot of traffic inside. Gardner gets free and scores just inside the paint. Proctor gave him a screen. Two defenders ran over Proctor. There was no call, and that left Gardner wide open for the bucket. Rebels back in front. Now Benson drives in. There's an offensive foul. Proctor took the charge. Benson is called for that one. Stood his ground as Benson went driving into the uh, middle. So that's the first foul on Benson. Rebels will have it against the full court press. Proctor, now to Gardner. Charlie dribbles up in traffic and it's stolen. As the collision, Hugo came away with the loose ball. Now down inside Benson. Toss back out. They swing it to the top of the key. Three on the way is good. Oh, a three there. Quincy Shelton, his first points of the day. Puts Hugo in front, 
Silo comes right back. Gardner layup on the left hand is good. Finger roll by Charlie. So end to end we go. Neither team giving an inch here. Gardner now with 12. Pass down to the baseline to Shelton. Kick back out. Three on the way from the right wing. It's no good this time. Roberts has the rebound for Silo. Works it ahead to uh, Cornell. Trapped just inside the half court line. Now looking for help. He stepped into the backcourt. Oh. Uh, the half court line a little bit tougher to see here at the Kerr Center. It is orange. There's lines out there, black lines as well, but the half court line is orange, and uh, Cornell was, he was trapped and uh, just uh, accidentally stepped back into the backcourt. Rebels turn it over there. 5.08 to go. Lob inside, Lennox. Shot is blocked by Parker. Carter with the big block and rebound there. Gardner has it. Big defensive play there by Carter, Asher. Yeah, yeah we really needed that. For... There's Proctor now. Dribbles out on the right side. 4.45 remaining in the fourth quarter. Cornell tossed back out to uh, Roberts. Now there's Parker. Dribbles between his legs. Feeds back to uh, Proctor. Rebels trying to find somebody open, cutting to the basket. Cornell. Pass to Roberts. Or excuse me, back to Gardner. Looking for Roberts, cutting inside. Now Cornell has it poked away, gets it back. Closely guarded there. Now Roberts comes out to retrieve. Now to Charlie. Charlie. Pass off on the right side. Parker has it. Now to Cornell. Back to Gardner. Starts the drive. Now to feeds Proctor. Inside. Proctor toss out. There's Parker now underneath. Roberts with the left hand hook, and it's no good. Roll off the rim and came off. Just rolled around and wouldn't go. Hugo back down with it. Now the Buffaloes look like they want to spread the floor. Rebels trying to sink back in. They're in the matchup zone. Oh, actually, they're still in the uh, man, sinking man defense here. 325 remaining. Pass out on the left side. That pass uh, deflected. Roberts got a hand on it. Knocks it out of bounds with 320 remaining. Every point is crucial now. Buffalo's inbound. There's Shelton. Toss back out front. Davis is going to reset things for Hugo. Works it left side. There's May Tubby. May Tubby's going to lob it into Lennox. He's got Gardner on. Oh, nice give and go. But May Tubby misses point blank. Rebound off to Proctor. Rebels have it back with a one point lead. Ahead to Roberts. Here comes the defender and knocks it away out of his hands from behind. Oh, a Rebel turnover. And Hugo has it back. They got a break on the miss by the Buffaloes. Here's a steal by Gardner. Charlie with the steal. Two on one. Takes it inside. Spins. Goes up. Shoots. Can't get it to fall, but a foul is called. Big steal by Charlie. And he's going to the free throw line. Just two out of four today as Dexter Thomas gets ready to check in. 2.35 on the clock. Free throw is good by Gardner. Rebels lead is two. Thomas is in. Roberts going to get a breather. Here comes the next one from Charlie, and it's good. A three-point silo lead. Two and a half minutes to play in this one. This elimination game. Survive in advance here in the Class 3A area playoffs. Shelton has it left side. Feeds back out front. There's Lennox comes out way out on the perimeter. Outside of his range. Now Maytubby has it on the right wing. Looking to drive against Parker. Oh, there's a near steal by Daxter again. 
but saved by Lennox. Lennox inside the paint, in traffic, kick out, open three. They're Shelton, it's good. Quincy Shelton, second three of this quarter, and we're tied at 30. Silo breaks the full court pressure. Thomas bounces into the front court to Gardner, and it's stolen. It's stolen by Hugo, driving in, layup is good. Brown with the steal and the lay-in. They take advantage of the uh, Rebel turnover there to go up 32-30. Five straight Hugo points. 129 left. Proctor dribbles to the baseline. He's cut off there. Back out front, another steal. Here goes Hugo down, and the lay is good. Davis with the layup. Timeout, Rebels, 118 to go. As the uh, Buffaloes have taken advantage of three consecutive Rebel turnovers and have able to uh, turn those into points. 34-30, timeout with 118 left. Largest lead for the uh, Buffaloes, now at four. They've led by two on a couple of occasions, but that big uh, steal and layup that time by uh, Davis gives them that uh, four-point lead. But two three-pointers by Quincy Shelton, the freshman, here in the uh, fourth quarter have done the damage. to keep Hugo in it, and then they come up with two big steals and lay-ins. The uh, Rebels going to have to, uh, they've done a pretty good job against the full court press most of the day, but Hugo may be uh, wearing them down a little bit as uh, the uh, Buffaloes have made uh, plenty of substitutions. Rebels just uh, have not been able to go very deep onto the bench. Most of the uh, starters have played the majority of this contest. So a four-point Hugo lead. Rebels have it. Need points here. Proctor dribbles out. Right side pass goes to Thomas. Thomas back to the top. Now there's Cornell. Feed down. Proctor swinging back out front. Parker around the perimeter. Clock under a minute. Here's Proctor. Now to Parker, way outside. Now almost uh, had it knocked away, and Coach Wiles going to take another timeout with 53 seconds to go. Rebels didn't get what they wanted there. But ran off 25 seconds in the process. They've got to get points. Trailing by four here with 53 seconds left. Hugo last night dodged a couple of big bullets down the uh, stretch as uh, Oatmulgee missed, uh, I believe, four free throws in the uh, final seconds. The final 20 seconds. And Hugo was able to survive for a one-point win in that one. So silo basketball, 53 seconds on the clock. Down four. Rebels have been stuck on 30 points for a while. Inbounds pass goes to uh, Proctor inside. His shot. No good. It rolls off. And the rebound ends up in the hands of Hugo. Oh, that just hung on the rim and came off. Rebels got to get the basketball. Here's a near steal. It's stolen by Parker. Now back inside. Gardner in the paint. He's called for a travel. Oh, Rebels just got in a hurry there. They got the steal. Parker came up with the steal, but they turn it over. Turnovers have uh, been uh, big here in the fourth quarter. Hugo breaks the pressure into the front court. Shelton has the basketball. Rebels need it. Down four. Got to go uh, make something happen. Cordell commits the foul. Now with 26 seconds to go, and that will be the seventh team foul on Silo, and it will put Marion Maytubby at the line, one and one. Uh, we'll see what Hugo can do. 
See if they can hit these free throws uh, down the stretch to ice it that uh, Okmulgee could not do against the Buffaloes last night. May Tubby, one and one coming up with 26 seconds left. All Rebels down there for the rebound, and it's no good. Silo has it back. Here they come. Gardner ahead into the front court, driving all the way toward the basket, misses the shot underneath. The rebound is tied up, and the possession arrow is in favor of Hugo. Oh. Gardner took it toward the glass, was just too hard with the shot there. Seventeen seconds to go. Season on the line here. Hugo inbounding underneath the Rebel goal. Here's the uh, pass inbound, and a quick foul is called on Cordell. I think that may be Connor's fifth. Nope, fourth. As uh, he's going to stay in here with 15 seconds to go. So back at the line. It's Brown this time. Jamarian Brown shooting one and one. It's on the way, and it's good. Five-point lead. Still a two-possession game. But time running out as he makes them both. 36-30. Hugo with a big run to end this one, and here's a steal. Lennox comes up with a turnover, and they're just going to run out the clock here. Five seconds left, and it's going to run out as well the uh, Rebels season. 36-30. Hugo turns up the defense down the stretch and comes away with the 36-30 win. Critical turnovers in the uh, fourth quarter as uh, the uh, Buffaloes win it 36-30 in the uh, final and end the uh, season for Silo here this afternoon. We'll look at the uh, final scoring. For the Rebels today, let's see, uh, 13 points for uh, Charlie Gardner. Carter Parker closes out his uh, basketball career with six in the contest, as does Kyler Proctor. Uh, Connor Cordell scored uh, two, and uh, Hayden Roberts scored two. To uh, round out the uh, scoring total, Rebels, uh, actually, uh, Gardner had 14, excuse me, as he scored uh, nine in the uh, second half, 14 for Gardner. Only uh, Rebel in double figures here this afternoon. For Hugo, they were led in scoring. Uh, let's see, uh, Jamarian Brown uh, came up large there in the uh, fourth quarter. He ends up scoring seven, and I think that was the uh, – Leading score, Quincy Shelton off the bench, two big three-pointers in the uh, fourth quarter. LaMarcus Davis also scored six for uh, the uh, Buffaloes. Uh, Hugo wins it 36-30, and they'll move on and play for a trip to state tomorrow night here at the Kerr Center, and they'll face the uh, loser between tonight's Purcell and Prague contest. Rebel season ends, final record of 19-11, uh, outstanding year, and come up just a game shy uh, playing for a, a trip to state as the uh, Rebel uh, basketball campaign comes to a close here this afternoon. Don't forget uh, the uh, Rebels will uh, be back in action on the baseball diamond coming up. Uh, I think the first game is going to be on Tuesday at Tushka. And uh, we'll see, uh, may have that one for you here on SidleRebels.tv uh, coming up on Tuesday. You have to check the uh, schedule on that one. But don't forget, coming up tonight, we'll have uh, Sato Girls Basketball, the Lady Rebels in action in the area championship game for a trip to state as they will take on uh, second-ranked Bethel in a showdown for a trip to the uh, state tournament in the area and the area championship 
coming up tonight. 6 p.m. the uh, tip time, and we'll have it for you later tonight here on SaddleRebels.tv. Until then, for my main man, Asher, I'm Kevin Farr saying so long from the Kerr Center. <laughs>